how to sell eBay items or listings without actually owning the product. And no, this is not about drop shipping. Hey, I'm Jeff Beeman, Jeff Beeman Online, and we are going to talk about how you can use eBay and eBay's affiliate program, which most eBay sellers, I won't say most, a lot of these eBay sellers do not know that they can do this or that eBay even has an affiliate program. The affiliate program for eBay is called the eBay Partner Network, and you can Google that up and get into it uh, real quick and easy by simply logging in under your uh, eBay login. Okay, so I have an eBay account, and you can use that to get into your eBay Partner Network. Uh, once you get in, I'll get to the home page here real quick. Hopefully the internet and or the computer is moving a little slow tonight. I'm going to guess that it is probably the uh, internet. All right, so this is inside the uh, home page of the eBay Partner Network. And from there, now we've got to figure out what are we going to sell from eBay and what platform are we going to sell it on. So we're going to be able to generate a link, which is called an affiliate link, and if somebody clicks on that affiliate link and buys the product, then you would get a small commission. Your eBay Partner Network affiliate commissions range anywhere from 2 to around 5%, depending on the category or the listing. The platform that we're going to want to try to sell on is Pinterest. And this is my Pinterest uh, homepage right here. So first, we're going to go to eBay. And I've already pulled up this particular uh, item. Let me see if I can go ahead and back up. It's not going to let me back up. I'm going to go to golf accessories just to show you because I do have an eBay uh, store for golf and I also have a Pinterest board for golf. So golf is an area that I like to work in, but you can do this with any category that you want. Uh, pets, gardening, uh, do-it-yourself home type uh, uh, products, services, whatever you can find on eBay. But what you want to do is to make sure that you are getting a product that has multiple items available to it. Because most of, a lot of eBay are what we call one-offs, where oh, you've only got the one item that sells and you don't have any way to resell another one. You've only sourced one and listed one. We're looking for items that could potentially have multiple uh, items available, quantities available. A good way to find one pretty quick most of the time is to find something like this, save up to 20% when you buy more of that the red text out to the side. Uh, sometimes you may recognize a, um, a picture uh, that is um, a studio picture, their professional picture uh, that they put on or brought in from somewhere else. Stock, stock picture is what I was trying to think of. Uh, save up to 12% when you buy more of these so Scotty Cameron uh, divot repair pieces there. We're going to go with this one because I've already saved it for the speed of doing this video. So we would click on this piece. This is a sticker set, Team Titleist sticker set. So once we've decided that we want that, the easiest way to do it is to hover over the picture itself right click and then save your image and save it to a file which I have already done. Next we are going to, how are we going to get this uh, sold and how are we going to get paid for it? We are going to come up in the URL bar and we are going to uh, we are going to copy that whole URL. Then we're going to come back over to our eBay Partner Network. We're going to come to Tools and we're going to come down here to Link Generator. All right, once we are inside the link generator, you can select a campaign. I'm just using the default. And we're going to come in here where it says eBay URL address, and we're going to paste that big long address in there. We're going to hit generate link. That link, if we want to, we can shorten. See how long it is right here? Now we can click that little box for shorten link. And it shortens it for us right there, quick and easy. We can hit copy. Or you can hit the box copy link right there. Then we can head over to our Pinterest account. And we can, once you get in here, you are you can just go to find the uh, plus button. I don't know where it's at on this particular page at the moment. It's hiding from us. There we go. you got to learn your way around Pinterest a little bit. 
uh, the create button is up here in the top so you would just hit create pin but I would suggest when you have your public profile out here come down here to saved and once again you would go to create uh, create pin create idea pin but you should be able to find this little plus button on the screen and that's going to allow you to uh, create a pin or create a board if you don't have any boards already set up in Pinterest I would tell you to go ahead and create a board such as this one here this is my everything golf board right here and so once I go inside of it now I'm into my everything golf and the, the good part about boards is it kind of puts everything into a category and then you can share pins back and forth with other boards that are out there uh, share share with each other but once you're in here you can hit the plus sign and then you can hit your pin and of course then you can start building your pin out and we did skip the part of going to canvas so we don't have that done yet you go to canva.com come in here to canva and i'm showing you an already created piece uh, just simply go when you go to canva just simply put in uh, Pinterest pins and you want to try to use the longer the 1080 by 1920 anything to make it a little bit longer bigger uh, you can always go to see what kind of length of pins that Pinterest will let you use and you could custom uh, size a pin also the longer the better because you want it to stand out against all these other uh, I don't have it up yet, we're in the creation part, but against all the other little rectangular pins, okay, they all kind of blend together otherwise. So you would simply come in here, take your picture, upload it to, right here is the upload to Canva, and you would click on it, bring it over, adjust your size, and throw together a pin. You can also, when you first get into Canva, you could also look at the templates and see if you want to uh, make a template. So. I've done just a bunch of miscellaneous in here to throw this pin together. Then you simply hit your share button and your download and download this to your computer. Once you're downloaded to your computer, then you would come here and drag and drop and uh, get into your. So here's my downloads. Here's the, today's download for that particular picture. Then you would come in and add your title and you you want to make your title the same as what it is on eBay and you want to keep everything congruent. So Team Titleist sticker set. And for the description area, uh, very high quality. And you could a lot of times you can find this on the eBay description. Just go in and find a quick uh, what they've left in there for the description. And nobody should ever have a problem with you using their information, their pictures, because you're trying to help them sell whatever it is that they are selling. They are not going to pay you the commission. eBay is going to pay you the commission out of the money that they make off of their service fees. All right, so this is another way to uh, limit yourself on fees that you have to pay out to eBay. I cannot spell that all of a sudden. There we go. Uh, die cut sticker set. All right, and then you would come down here and remember the link that we picked up over here on eBay. Make sure I've copied it again. I'm bringing it back in. I'm putting it right there. I'm just going to uh, paste that in, and then this is ready to publish. All right, once that is published, it will show it to you here. And you can promote the pin, which would be advertising, uh, actually paying some advertising dollars, just like you would on Facebook or anywhere else, or possibly a promotion like on eBay when, you wanna, uh, when eBay wants you to do a promotion, except these are going to be paid by click, I think, in most cases. So you would put it anytime somebody's clicking on this. Uh, is Or you could set it up to run for, you know, get extra views. Uh, for so many days and they would charge you for that that way so that pin is uh, all done and then I'm going to come back into Pinterest as you can see I've already did, 
did one earlier for uh, examples for myself to make sure we told you how to do it correctly. And so this would be the pin. If you click on that pin, now you can see down here where it says eBay.us. Uh, as this pin loads for whoever's looking at it, they would say, okay, yeah, I want to get more, find out more about it, or I possibly want to buy this. They would click, and then it is going to take them to, as we wait for the computer to load, one last moment. All right, and there we are. We brought it, it's brought us right back to that page. So now when somebody buys from here, it is cookied to us, and uh, eBay will send you a, send you a payment. It, Normally you have to set your set your account up to uh, you know fifty dollars is when they'll send out a check or a hundred dollars or something like that along those lines and you'll be all set to start making some money building up your account with eBay Partner Network and they will send you a check or send to your account that you your bank account that you set up with them uh, when they are able to pay you out. So with that said, if you like this kind of content, make sure to go ahead and subscribe below and give us a, a thumbs up so you know when we are putting out more content. And if you like the idea of affiliate marketing, please make sure to check out the link in the description area for our free training every Wednesday night and we'll help you learn how to grow a home business and affiliate marketing will be a big part of that. So until next time, thank you very much. Happy selling.